Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing out there? Uh, it's Monday night, and uh, this is the first of many videos that I'm going to be making on this YouTube channel. Uh, this video is for both my EP classes and my Bio 1-2 classes. Just kind of a welcome intro video. Um, we're just hanging out here. It's day three of uh, this whole thing, and... Uh, today they announced like the official uh, lockdown. I think that's what they're. Or no, shelter, they, in place. shelter in place. My wife's hanging out over there. You'll probably see her at some time. Um, so we're trying to figure out what to do inside all day. It's uh, felt very long already. So um, thankfully, I've got a lot to do with uh, our classes and a lot of stuff to prep. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. Number one. Um, do check your canvas because uh, I've updated for both classes the schedule um, for the next couple of weeks um, and uh, of course it's a little different for both classes but uh, on that uh, schedule you're gonna see uh, kind of the plan for each day um, I do have something planned for you guys uh, almost every day um, some of the things aren't gonna take too long and some things will give you something to work on um, but hopefully that's a good thing as a uh, you're not really getting out much now. Um, let's see. Um, on the canvas, you're going to see links. Uh, a lot of them are not live yet, especially my bio classes. They're not live links yet. But um, as I make videos, as I make assignments, um, I'll link those live and then you can um, open those up and, and download them. Um, for all the classes, uh, I'll be doing a lot of screencasts. So this uh, setup should look familiar. I've uh, brought my monitor and my docking station and my mouse and keyboard even from my classroom so um, I'll be recording lectures that uh, go along with uh, PowerPoint and so um, that's all going to be found here on this YouTube channel so if you're watching this but you haven't subscribed yet um, please do that um, and uh, that way you'll get all the updates when I post new videos and also when we do live streams. Uh, for the live streams um, we're going to see how it goes. I think for all the classes, uh, let me check what I put here. I think the first one for all of them are going to be on Thursday. Um, just going to get some lessons under our belt first and get comfortable with that setup. And then uh, hopefully by Thursday, you'll all have some questions to ask and uh, we'll, we'll run some live streams. Uh, live streams are going to be different times for different classes. So AP classes, you guys already know. Uh, we're going to be doing it at, at uh, 9.30 in the morning, which is kind of a average between your two classes. And then uh, for my Bio 1-2 classes, I'm going to be doing a live stream for each period. So 5th period, you guys are going to be at 12.30, 6th period at 1.30, and 7th period at 2.30. Um, so all of you guys will have a full hour. I don't think we'll need all of it, but uh, that's just the time to check in, ask questions, uh, just see how you guys are doing. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'll let you guys look at the rest of it on Canvas, uh, and if you have any questions, you can just, uh, you know, post a comment below, I guess, um, and I'll try to get back to you. Um, one thing I did want to talk a little bit about is, um, just, uh, an update on coronavirus. I know we've, uh, spent some time last week going over things, and so, uh, a lot has changed in the past couple of days. Um... By now, you probably uh, heard about um, the Bay Area and the six counties are going into a shelter-in-place uh, protocol, um, and uh, it's pretty um, it's a pretty big deal. Um, if you haven't already got the message, you really should not be going outside your house um, unless it's a, what they call essential business. So unless you're going to the doctor, unless you're going to the grocery store, or um, the you know, CVS to pick up drugs um, or medicine or whatever you need. Um, you really shouldn't be uh, meeting up with people and uh, hanging out at the parks or walking around. Uh, I was at Mills today and I definitely saw some of you guys, well, not none of you, but some of your peers that were walking around with Starbucks kind of socializing. And um, as much as that sounds awesome, that uh, puts us all at risk. So I just really want to uh, quickly, I wanted to show you something and I want to like play around with the setup. Um, switch over to this article here. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this below so you guys can read it on your own and share it with your families. Uh, but the Washington Post did a great 
um, uh, what do you call this, a great uh, article on um, how things like coronavirus uh, spread. And um, so I'm just going to take you through this really quick. Um, obviously, you guys have heard about flattening the curve now, um, but what this shows is uh, just how that curve can change. And um, and they did some really cool modeling here. So uh, this is something you guys will, will talk about uh, in lectures to come, but this um, curve here shows something called exponential growth. Uh, you guys know now that uh, coronavirus has a, a pretty high R value, which means every one person that gets it is going to pass it to two, maybe even three now, which means that uh, in a very short amount of time, it's going to grow pretty quickly. Um, and so this is uh, March 13th, three days ago, um, and this is March 9th, uh, which is you know, just two days, three days before that. So uh, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably gone up even more. Uh, which is a pretty scary thing. So uh, the way this modeling works is they use dots to represent this. And so anytime one dot touches another, you'll see it changes from blue to that orange color. And that just means that uh, one person has infected another person. Um, and uh, as you can see here, it's, it's pretty easy for this to spread. Uh, now, from what we know, a lot of this uh, this coronavirus spreads through the air. Uh, if they're saying kind of within, if you're within six feet of somebody, if uh, they're even breathing, not even sneezing, there's a chance that you can pass it to somebody. Um, and uh, the nice thing about this though, is because of the way our immune system works, once you get it, um, you're very unlikely to get it again, right? Unless it, the virus is mutating. And so you can see that, um, I'll play this again, that the blue dots turned to orange, but um, shortly after they turned pink, which means that they've recovered. And once they've recovered, um, you can't really pass it around anymore. Um, so even though people are gonna get sick, uh, as they have time to recover and as they have resources to recover, uh, the growth is going to slow down quite a, quite a bit. And so um, this is the cool simulation. Watch how this goes. Um, that orange dot in the middle right here, that's the sick person. If everybody's moving around, which we were last week, uh, let me move my face here, you can see how quickly uh, this is going to spread. Okay, and, uh, and even though some people are going to recover, uh, you can see from the graph here, the, the curve is gonna is gonna peak pretty early on. It's gonna peak pretty high, and uh, that means there's gonna be quite a strain on uh, our healthcare services, our hospitals, and so on. Now, uh, this graph here, this model shows what happens if you quarantine people. So this line shows people that have been quarantined. Uh, you guys are staying at home, but watch what happens. Some of you guys start getting lonely. You get bored. You start sneaking outside, and watch what happens here. Is you start if everyone's moving around again, uh, even though people are recovering. Uh, everybody else is still going to be infected. And so the infection rate, you can see from the graph up here, is still going to be pretty high. Um, so what does it mean to go into uh, social distancing? And what does it mean to go into this, um, uh, I keep wanting to say lockdown, what is it called again? Uh, uh, shelter. Uh, shelter in place. So when we're shelter in place, the main uh, goal of that is just to keep people from moving. And you can see here that uh, that orange dot's still moving around. If most of the dots are staying in place, uh, it really, really limits the, the spread of um, this disease. And because it limits the rate of it, the speed of it, um, people have more time to recover and those people then can't contract it. Um, and so this in this, vid, this uh, model, you can think of like all those dots that are staying in place, that's you guys staying at home. And the people that are, uh, I'll replay that, um, the dots that are moving, those are all the people that are, you know, going to the grocery store and going to Costco and going to the doctor. Um, and so do realize every time you leave the house, you do uh, run a risk of, uh, of picking it up from somebody. And not only that, when you come home back to your, your you know, home dot spot, um, you risk uh, then passing that on to whoever you're, you're living with. And so those of you guys, especially that are living with uh, your grandparents or your uncles or aunts, especially people that are over 65, um, those are the folks that are really at risk. And so you want to, um, you know, minimize uh, going out as much as possible. Um, I know that's super hard, and uh, I'm going to switch back to the webcam here. Um, I know that's really, really hard, and uh, at first it might seem like, oh, this is awesome, we can just wait, you know, play Netflix, and, or watch Netflix, and play your games, and be on social media, but as you guys will see soon, that gets old really fast, um, and that's part of the reason why it's, a, it's actually a good thing that we're still doing this online classroom thing, um, having... Uh, something to work on and uh, something that stimulates you and uh, gets your brain working uh, it's all going to be really really welcome in the coming weeks um, keep in mind 
Uh, this uh, shelter in place is uh, how long is it for? Three weeks. At least three weeks. Okay, yeah. until April seventh, um, which is kind of our spring break time. So um, that's a lot of time that's going to pass, and um, you know, I think you're going to get bored. So. Um, Kind of like the advice I gave you before we left is, is keep a routine. Um, don't slip into uh, vacation mode and be you know sleeping at all different times of the day. Uh, wake up at the same time every day. Eat your meal at the right time. You know, set time for uh, working. Set time for exercising. Um, technically, they they do make exceptions. You are allowed to go outside if you're going to go for a hike, um, but that doesn't mean you're hiking down to Starbucks. Okay, you got to go to like a park where everyone's spread out. Uh, six feet or more, um, get some exercise, get some fresh air, um, all, and also like be creative, you know, dig into that old, um, the, those, that pack of markers or construction paper or whatever, or if you're um, really into, uh, you know, stuff in, in graphic design, uh, make something, be creative, get your brain, you know, working and, and have fun with it and, uh, and share it with people. Um, you know, if you're, you're, you're into music, play your music, write music, um, those are all really good ways to spend your time. Um, social isolation, isolation is really hard, um, so I don't usually say this, but keep up with social media, but keep it in a positive way, right? Um, we don't really have many opportunities to, to be with people and to walk away feeling uh, good about it and happy about it. And so any inter interactions you have, uh, let's just keep it positive, keep it hopeful. Um, you know, you can make jokes about coronavirus and all that, but, uh, you know, uh, we want to... Um, just do our best to, to keep everyone's spirits high and um, that's kind of the way we get through it. Uh, one last thing, just a little plug, um, you know, uh, during times like these, you know, we have a lot of people in our community, especially in Millbury, that are, are needy um, and you know, especially the older folks that are living by themselves or they're sick, um, they, they're putting themselves at significant risk to um, get infection if they're going out and I, I saw it today I was at Lucky's and uh, there were, there are some older folks that you know were in their 80s and um, just struggling to pick up water and um, and they really shouldn't be out so if you happen to be at the grocery store with your, your families and you see somebody that that's doing that uh, you know offer to, to get their number and and have them text you if you if they need anything um, from the store from uh, Walgreens and uh, maybe the next time you guys have to make a run, uh, you can pick it up for them. Um, that can really make a difference and, and maybe even save their life. Um, so uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. I was told that uh, I should make videos more than 15 minutes and we've hit the 13 minute mark. So uh, I hope you guys are doing good out there. Uh, we, we're going to start up officially tomorrow. Uh, so again, just check your Canvas uh, sites uh, on those pages and look at the schedule. And I will see you guys very soon. Have a great night.